Revelation 2461. From the 30th of August 1942. Immorality. Unwritten laws. General immorality accompanies the time of people's unkindness and the fact that people no longer show any consideration towards their fellow human beings' feelings and thus no longer exert any kind of self-restraint is also a sign of spiritual deterioration. And a generation without manners and without meaningful morality is heading for disaster. Admittedly, people find this incomprehensible since they consider decency a mere human addition and that the times justify giving full expression to all instincts, and their points of view are encouraged by the completely wrong opinion that moral laws merely prevent people from enjoying life and therefore must be abolished. No nation will ever survive if it does not want to accept any laws as a guiding principle which give people moral stability so that they will live their life within the framework of a certain social order. These are unwritten laws which people have nevertheless accepted until now, because they have all recognized both the necessity as well as the blessings of such laws and, for the sake of human order, have submitted to them without argument. These laws are increasingly more forgotten or they are knowingly discarded by people because they prevent them from living up to their sensuality. This clearly shows a decline of spiritual development, for the more sensual a person is, the less he strives towards God, he desires the world, that is, everything that gives pleasure to the body, and for the sake of the body disposes of all consideration towards his fellow human beings. As a result, the human being falls prey to spiritual forces which had lived a life of uninhibited pleasure on earth, which indulged their cravings and thus had led a sinful life. These spiritual forces exert tremendous influence on these people and use them such that the human being pays less and less attention to the unwritten laws that he unreservedly indulges himself in an easy way of life and that no limits exist for him than the fulfillment of his lust. This attitude towards worldly pleasures will never be conducive to spiritual development, for anything the body demands will always disadvantage the soul. Besides, spiritual aspiration will be laughed at and ridiculed, and this without all inhibition because people will have lost all sense of decency and good manners. Hence, the individual person's point of view will not be respected either but will be deemed hostile and therefore be discarded, often in the most shameless fashion. For immorality and spiritual deterioration go hand in hand. People indeed speak about being enlightened, and, yet, they are less enlightened, than ever before. They speak of spiritual advancement and, yet, they remain far behind, for they don't understand it as the progress of the soul, instead, they only mean a wrong way of thinking, which they nevertheless find worth striving for. They try to construct a new morality for themselves which aids and abets an easy way of life and intend to portray it as ideal. And thus new laws will come into being and old laws will be revoked and humanity will change accordingly and lose every guideline for a virtuous, God-pleasing life which is intended to improve the human being's soul. Amen.